Hey everyone, Kathy Man here, and today we're gonna be buzzing about with some beaver buzz coming right up. Hello again everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And in today's video, we're going over some beaver buzz and that flavor is Dr. Buzz Energy. Very excited to be trying this out because there aren't that many soda energy drinks on the market. Most people are looking for a good cola flavor it's really hard to get a good cola flavor, which is why there's not many out there. But this one isn't a cola flavor. This is actually supposed to be similar to a Dr. Pepper flavor, which hopefully is a little bit easier to accomplish than a cola because you got so many different flavors in Dr. Pepper. And that being said, as a side note, I am curious if Dr. Pepper is gonna have an energy drink sometime soon. If you didn't know, a Nutribolt who owns C4 merged with Curry Dr. Pepper Group and they've been collabing on some energy drinks as you may know they just released the c4 hawaiian punch and if you didn't know because i didn't do a review on it yet you most likely don't know this yet i'll say it in that video but dr pepper is the company who makes hawaiian punch and now c4 has a hawaiian punch energy drink you can see where this is going so i know a lot of people are hoping for a dr pepper energy drink but until then let's not get off topic and we'll talk about the beaver buzz and a huge shout out and thank you goes to energy drink josh who sent me this drink energy drink josh post pictures on instagram of energy drinks almost every single day you are bound to see something you have not seen before so thank you to him for sending me these drinks let's go ahead let's taste out the beaver buzz dr buzz and here's the can And I like the basics of it. You know, you got your big name on there. You got a big mascot on there, similar to what they did with the Grizzly Bear for Grizzly Energy. Put the name of the drink down there. Some nice colors, really nice Dr. Pepper kind of color with your foam at the top here. As for your ingredients, this is your straight up energy drink. There's nothing too special about the ingredients in here. A lot of your common energy drink ingredients. This drink does have 212 calories in it and it is not, right, I repeat, not sugar free. It has 53 grams of sugar, which is giving you 53 grams of carbs. So all you sugar haters out there probably just clicked away right now. So we're not watching this video. 53 grams of sugar. Who do they think they are? Monster or rock star? Jeez. Like I said, though, it's your standard straight up energy drink company giving you your standard straight up ingredients and that includes sugar. And let's put it this way, too. Not that I have anything against sugar or anything like that. I prefer not to have sugar. A lot of my audience prefers not to have sugar, but there's still a decent portion of my audience that does like sugar and they don't really have a lot of sugar options anymore because a lot of the companies have been going more sugar free. A lot of the energy drink companies that have been coming out have all been supplement companies that don't put sugar in their drinks. So it is rare to see a sugared energy drink coming out, even though this has been out for several years now. But my main point was going to be that uh, if you're doing a cola flavor drink, it's really hard to get a cola flavor in general w w without having sugar in it. Most soda companies use aspartame and stuff like that to make it taste diet. Energy drink companies usually use sucralose, but it just doesn't have the same feel to it. So to get the Dr. Pepper flavor in here, they're going to be using sugar and that should help accomplish a more soda-esque vibe to it and hopefully taste similar to a Dr. Pepper soda, but in energy drink form. As for your caffeine, the caffeine is a little bit lighter than some energy drinks. They're going a little bit lower than the standard 10 milligrams per ounce, which would be 160. They have 111, that's right, 111 milligrams of caffeine in a 473 milliliter can. Why in the world do they have 473 milliliters and not 500 milliliters like everyone else in Canada? Yes, it's a Canada-based energy drink company, but it's because they wanted to do a 16 ounce can. So 16 ounces converts to 473 milliliters. As for your 111 milligrams of caffeine, I am not gonna do the math to let you know how many milligrams of caffeine that is per ounce, but because it's not an even number and, and, and caffeine and math, don't, don't, we're not friends, not friends at all, no. But we all have calculators on our phones, so that's 6.9375 milligrams per ounce. That's right, 6.9375 milligrams per ounce. They just don't want to go with even numbers whatsoever. That's to the fourth decimal place. 111. 
Where did you guys come up with that? That's what I want to know. There's only like three or four companies that do weird things like this. I believe Bum Energy has like 112. I think Uptime has like 147. There's one company that's got like 127.5. They got 111. That's what they want to do. That's their prerogative. Let's taste it out. Here we go. We got a nice cola flavored or Dr. Pepper flavored or soda flavored, not flavored, colored. We got a soda color going on right there. No doubt about it, they want you to know that they're trying to get you a soda in an energy drink can. Yeah. Moment of truth, Dr. Buzz Energy. Is it gonna be your substitute for those of you who like Dr. Pepper but want, need more caffeine? Let's taste that. So for your carbonation, you're getting a low to medium carbonation out of here. Uh, it's a little odd because usually soda tends to give you a higher carbonation, so I would think they'd want to give you a higher carbonation. There is a chance that these drinks got sent to Energy Drink Josh all the way from Canada, and then eventually Josh sent them to me. So with all the travel going on, uh, it might have got shooken up a little bit, so it might be a little bit lower in carbonation because of that. I think it does seem a little bit lower in carbonation though, so it's got this low to medium carbonation, but do know that it could be because the can got shook up a little bit. As for your sweetness, you're definitely getting a high sweetness out of here. You can definitely taste that 53 grams of sugar in there. And not just any sugar, they're actually using cane sugar for those of you who might like cane sugar better than regular sugar. And for your flavor profile, I am going to say that it is a medium to high flavor profile, closing in on high. And overall, does it taste like Dr. Pepper? And is it a good flavor? Hmm. I'm definitely going to start off by saying it's not a bad flavor. I think it's pretty good. And I do want to give them credit for trying to do a cola flavor. I, I keep saying cola flavor. I'm going to get comments down below where people are, it's not a cola flavor, but a soda flavor. I was using the wrong genre of soda by calling it cola. But I do give them credit for trying to make a soda kind of flavor in an energy drink because it's very difficult to accomplish. And I think that they did a pretty good job with it overall all for trying to make a soda flavor but i definitely think it missed the mark in general as a soda flavor and it could be the carbonation i'm really curious that if i were to pick this up in the store drank it right off the shelf if it would still have that low carbonation because that low carbonation really makes it taste flat no one likes flat soda i don't some people like flat soda don't get me into the whole miami cola issues that we've had over the years flat soda lovers but yeah, I definitely think it needs a lot more carbonation to really give you that soda vibe and to really get you that Dr. Pepper flavor because when I remember Dr. Pepper, it's been a long time since I've had it. Actually, it hasn't been that long. They had come out with a new flavor that my wife had wanted to try. So we did try a new Dr. Pepper recently and uh, the carbonation is definitely a bit higher. As for the Dr. Pepper flavor or the Dr. Buzz flavor, I am getting a touch of that flavor but they really need to just boost it up a whole heck of a lot because uh i'm not getting dr pepper in a can not that it's supposed to be dr pepper let's throw that out there i keep trying to compare it to being dr pepper in a can but they are calling themselves dr buzz so we do know they're going for a dr pepper flavor and i think they only have a hint of that flavor in there i really think it needs to be stronger in all the categories except for the sweetness it is a sweet drink but the carbonation needs to be up and you really got to give me more of that Dr. Pepper flavor as opposed to a soda vibe in general. So where's it going to be going on the caffeine man rating chart? As I said, not a bad drink. I don't dislike it. I just don't think they accomplished what they were trying to accomplish in my opinion, but they are still giving you a pretty good soda flavor. So I'm going to give this an 8.4. 
yeah, a pretty good score. You guys were thinking, oh, he's going to give it a 7 or something because it's not that great. But no, like I said, it's not a bad flavor. It's a pretty good flavor. It's an 8.4 for a solid good soda flavor. It just didn't really hit that higher caliber. If it did have more carbonation, maybe this can is a bad can. I could see with a higher carbonation, this maybe hits like an 8.7, 8.8 8 for me. And if they just gave you more flavor closer to a Dr. Pepper and carbonation, it'd be in the 9s. As it stands with the can I have in front of me right now, it's an 8.4. That's what I got for you. Thank you again to Energy Drink Josh for sending me this drink. I really do appreciate it. If you want to find out about all my favorite energy drinks, I will put a playlist right there of all my favorite drinks. And if you want to see what YouTube thinks you're going to like, you can check out that video right there. Don't forget to check out caffeeman1.com to find out a little bit more about me and sign up for a newsletter going over what I went over last week, what will be coming up next week. That's called See in the Future. And until next time, have yourselves a great day. Good night.